Hi, I'm Jen, and my son was born with Klinefelter syndrome. I found out through an NIPT test uh, when I was 12 weeks pregnant that he has an 89% chance of having Klinefelter syndrome. Didn't know much about it, but apparently, you know, my doctor suggested termination. Well, after I found out all the information, we decided that definitely doesn't, not a route that needs to to be taken whatsoever. Um, and we were armed with all the information that we needed to give our son a, a health, healthy and prosperous life. And he was, as soon as we was born and we held him, it was like, he was just like the most amazing little soul that, I mean, we couldn't even imagine a better baby. And now that he's a little over two years old now, like just, you meet this kid, like he charms the pants off of every single person he meets. Like everybody he meets is like someone, it, you know, people just say, oh, that, that kid is like, that, that kid's special. Like we get that all the time. And, and it, it angers me and it bothers me. And it's so sad that I think in the United States alone, it's like a 72% termination rate when you have the NIPT test results of potentially having Klinefelter syndrome, 72%. And I look at my son every day and I'm like, like who, who would, who would do this? Like if, like all of the misinformation that is, that is out there on Google and just the lack of awareness and lack of education in the medical community, just make it out to be this just like monstrous thing. And it's, it's not. And like, look, I'm, I'm pro-choice, 100% pro-choice. Do whatever, do what you wanna do for you. But when you're actively, like you're trying to have a family, you wanna have a baby, and then you get this result that your child, or your, that your, that your you know, son-to-be might have XXY, or you confirm that, it, that, that your son will have XXY, that's not a reason to terminate. These boys are so special. I, <laughs> if you ever meet Koa, I mean, <sighs> he's the most perfect kid you've, you've ever laid your eyes on. He's amazing. He's so smart. He's so kind. He's so witty. He's so funny. And due to the misinformation out there, these families are, are terminating these perfectly good boys, like kids that, you know, they want, kids that these families, you know, these parents want to bring children into the world. They're, they're terminating them. These perfect, amazing kids that bring smiles to everybody they meet, everyone, every stranger. I get really angry about that. And again, I'm, I'm pro-choice, but Klinefelter syndrome is not, it's not, a, it's not an excuse to not bring these amazing special boys into this world. And we need, we need more of them out there. pretty messed up. <laughs> I can't imagine my life without him. I, I, it just, it, like, it pisses me off. It pisses me off so much that, like, people are advising termination when they don't know a damn thing about this condition. All they know are p maybe negatives. All they know are potential, potential issues, potential problems. And are they that big? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. It's the most common chromosome abnormality. I hate that word. It's the most, it's the most common. It's so common. So many men have this and don't even know about it. So is it that big of a deal? Probably not. It's not a reason to terminate these boys.